Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Next Evolution campaign box playthrough. And this time we are tackling the Mr. Sinister scenario with the Cable pre-built leadership deck. And uh, there are some things I want to mention before we start about the scenario. So uh, first off we have Mr. Sinister here looking uh, pretty simple, but uh, we still have to do some setup before we start. So we have set aside the flight, super strength, and telepathy encounter sets, and we have the Hope Summers uh, story ally here in play. And uh, first off, we'll advance this. So it says, when revealed, remove one random stage. Two from the game, then advance to random stage 2A. So we have three of these stage 2, so we shuffle these. So this adds a lot of replayability because we are not seeing one of the setup side sets at all in this game. So we remove that from the game. Then we advance straight to. Uh, to be of this, so bulking up. When revealed, attach super strength attachment to Mr. Strength and shuffle the rest of the super strength encounter set into the encounter deck. And when completed, advance to the other stage 2A if you cannot advance to stage 3A. And this comes into play with one threat and has a threshold of 5, and we have to add 2 threat per player during the uh, add threat phase of the villain phase. So we get the super strength. Let's see where there it is. So we have super strength. So this attaches to uh, Mr. Sinister. So set up attached to the villain permanent. Attach villain gains the brute trade and steady. Steady characters require two status cards of the same type to be stunned or confused. And Mr. Sinister has plus one at, uh, attack power. And we shuffle the rest of these into the encounter set or into the encounter deck. So um, we have a super strength Mr. Sinister uh, against us this time. So we'll see how this goes. So without further delay let's get started oh yeah and this this is not removed we'll put that there so let's get started okay now we are ready to begin so first off we will draw our opening hand so one two three four five six chords Let's see what we get. So, telekinetic force field, lock and load, body slide, gray, malkin, pro recognition, and call for backup. So, a lot of uh, player side schemes. Um, I'm actually ditching these three, drawing another three cards. We get the uh, Uncanny Axe Force, Mission Leader, and Established Perimeter. And I'll search for the tele tele uh, Technovirus Purge. And we'll put that into play. We shuffle our deck and we are ready to begin. So we really want to get the Technovirus Purge done as fast as possible so that uh, Cable's stats are boosted and also Hope Summer will be boosted because Hope Summer uses uh, Cable's stats for thwarting and attacking. Let's see... Um... Okay, so I will be playing the Angani X Force so that uh, Hope Summers gets plus one uh, thwart, so we can defeat the Technovirus Purge immediately. 
I'll use establish perimeter and uh, lock and load for that. Mm, actually, I want to get. Uh, Yeah, let's use that and that to play Uncanny Axe Force. Then uh, I'll use this is a bit of a risk, but I'll use the no, I'll use um, Lock and Load to play Mission Leader. Because it's uh, reduced by one because we have the soldier trait. We'll flip to uh, cable. So now Hope Summers uh, will remove three and cable removes the rest. So cable gets to ready. And uh, after a side scheme is defeated, Exhaust Mission Leader, uh, each player draws one card. We get Caliban. Okay. And uh, Cable will hit for two. Uh, I mean three, because we are now boosted. So Hope will swap for four, and uh, yeah, that's that's good for this scenario. And that is everything we can do in the first round. We'll draw back up to five. We get Telekinetic Blast, Plasma Rifle, Build Support, Caliban, and Grave. Gray Malkin. Okay. We'll go to the villain phase. We add two threats to the main scheme. Uh, Mr. Sinister attacks. I will defend. And it is uh, two against three, zero boost, so we don't take any damage. And the encounter card is Sinister Disguise. Attached to Mr. Sinister. Forced interrupt. When a player would deal damage to Mr. Sinister, that player may spend. Two mental resources. If they do not, they deal that damage to the friendly character with the fewest remaining hit points instead. This card discard well, whether the resources were spent or not. So we really need to spend those resources so we won't kill off Hope Summers. Okay, uh, well, uh, we have the resources for next round. So we'll see how this continues. So that is that round. Oh yeah, this should have been ready. So let's go to the next round. Okay, and um, I think I want to get rid of the Sinister Disguise. So let's see, when a player would deal damage to a Minister... Uh, I actually don't want to do that yet, because we want to uh, can, um, slow down that, so I am thwarting with hope. And... Uh, we will play the Plasma Rifle. I'll use the Telekinetic Blast and... Uh, Caliban. And we will hold off of using the plasma rifle for now, but it is good to have in play uh, now. So that is everything we can do. So we've got upkeep, we will draw um, the power of mind, uncanny X4, sidearm, build support, and grey malkin. We'll go to the villain phase. We add two threat to the main scheme. Mr. Sinister attacks, cable defense, so two against, I mean five against two, uh, three. So we take two damage. The encounter card for this round is genetic mastery. When revealed, if Mr. Sinister has the following traits, so we have the brute, exhaust your identity. Well, we are already exhausted, so that didn't matter. That's good. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, I think 
Uh, we want to play sidearm to hope. Then we'll hit with uh, Mr. Sinister with hope and spend these two resources to get rid of this. So we'll hit uh, three, four damage onto Mr. Sinister. And uh, yeah, so that is our whole turn. We'll ready up. We draw back up to one, two, three, four, five. Mind scan, uh, the power of the mind, side arm, telekinetic blast, and gray malkin. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add two threat to the scheme. And uh, Mr. Sinister attacks, Cable will defend, so 2 plus 1 against 3 is 0, we don't take any damage, and we get an encounter card, it is Code of Guard, discard and upgrade or support to control, if no cards were discarded this way, discard can search. Uh, I think I will discard the mission leader, because we are not seeing any, any side schemes, and that is that round. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, this round will definitely get the gray marking online. So I'll pay for that using using the sidearm and uh, power of the mind. We'll keep the big uh, psionic attacks in hand for next round. But now uh, we will use the Grey marking to use the plasma rifle, so we deal one damage here. Hope will thwart for four, and that is our whole turn. A bit slow build up here, but it is uh, crucial to not let this advance. We'll draw back up to five. We have uh, Phantom X, Frenemies, Mission Planning, Telec. Kinetic Blast and Mind Scan. We'll go to the villain phase. We add two threat to the main scheme. Mr. Sinister attacks, Cable defense, and I'll take that. Uh, well, it is two boost icons only, so we'll take one damage. And uh, we'll get an encounter card. It is lab. Teamwork, nasty boy, toughness, okay. And that is our whole turn, so, or that is the villain phase, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, I think we want to get rid of the slab, so we'll use the plasma rifle just to get rid of the tough. Then. We'll play telekinetics, um, telekinetic blast on on him. So we deal six plus one damage. So slab is defeated, and uh, hope we'll hit Mr. Sinister for four damage. We'll keep Phantom X in hand. We ready up. We draw back up to five. We get mission planning, teleporter leap, uh, temporal leap, uh, Professor Uncanny X Force, and Phantom X. We'll go to the villain phase. We add two threats to the main scheme. Mr. Sinister attacks. Cable again will defend. Uh, two plus one, and you are stunned. Well, we are then stunned. We can remove that with the plasma rifle easily, but we don't take any damage. And we get an encounter card with this hairbag. <clears throat> so, hairbag is a minion with one skin and two attacks. Search, teamwork, nasty boy. And uh, the search is I'll take that. Discard the upgrade you control with the lowest cost. Highest cost instead if the villain has psionic trade. 
if no upgrade was discarded this way this card can search well we have a choice between oh yeah it needs to be an upgrade well that sucks okay so we lose the plasma rifle nothing we can do about that well yeah okay well that is that round let's go to the next round mm, actually I made a misplay. I have the sidearm in play, which is a lower cost upgrade, so uh, that goes. And that is much better than losing the plasma rifle. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we want to do? I'm thinking of playing Phantom X, so I'll play Phantom X, and uh, let's see where the EVA is, is it in the discard, no, so it's in the deck, so we'll search the deck for the EVA and put it into play, shuffle the deck, <coughs> so EVA. Uh, if Phantom X is not in play, discard the EVA action, exhaust EVA, choose, remove one threat from a scheme, deal one damage to an enemy, or deal one damage from Phantom X. So, yeah. I think I will defeat the uh, hair back. And I will thwart or remove two threats here, one with EVA and one with uh, Phantom X. And I will just get rid of the stunt. Okay, that is everything. We ready up, we draw back up to five. Another mission planning. <clears throat> Ascan is on, Deadlock, Mind Scan and the Power of the Mind. We'll go to the villain phase, we add two threats here, and we defend the cable, so two plus one, you are confused, okay, and uh, we don't take any damage, then we get an encounter card, it is Sinister Strike, uh, when revealed, a hero, Mr. Sinister attacks you, if he has the aerial threat, you are stunned, well, he just attacks me, and... Um, well, 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 I'll just take the damage on Cable, so we take 4 damage. And that is it, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, we probably want to advance Mr. Sinister this round. So, before we do anything else, I will use the plasma rifle to deal one damage and hit with no we'll use the EVA to deal one damage to an enemy. So we advance when revealed place one threat on the main scheme and two threat instead if the mystery has fewer than two superpower attachments. Force response. After a status card is placed on Mr. Sinister, place to threat on the main ski. So we uh, advance this. And we get the second. So taking off. When revealed, attach the flight attachment to Mr. Sinister and shuffle the rest of the flight encounter set into the encounter deck. When completed, advance to the other stage 2A, or if you cannot advance to. Uh, straight, uh, stage 3A. Okay, if, if we would have played that a bit better, we wouldn't have advanced, so if we would have removed the threat first. So we get the flight and we shuffle these, so we don't have the telepathy at all in this playthrough. Okay, so shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Ok, 
Okay, so let's read the plight. Set up attached to the villain. Permanent attached villain gains the aerial trait. Attached villain attacks gain overkill. So, and a plus one attack. So, Mr. Sinister has four attack now, which is bad. And uh, uh, 17 health. Okay. Let's see what we can do now. Mm. I think I will use the mission planning. Or should I play the mission planning? Well, only Phantom X would not take. So Phantom X should have two consequential damage already. No, only one. We used EVA and plasma rifle to uh, advance to stage two. Okay. Yeah, I'll use mission planning to play Asaki's son. And I'll play the mind scan, so power of mind. No, that's that's silly. Let's back this up a bit. So I'll actually use all of these to just play Deathlock and we'll search for one sidearm to attach to Deathlock. We start bailing on Mr. Sinister. So we'll deal 3 damage. We deal one damage more, and we deal three damage. And uh, I will go to Alter Ego, so I won't die. So that is our turn. We ready up. We draw back up to five. Uh, I mean six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We unfortunately get the next rank counter card. So we have Deadpool, Forced Amnesia, Mind Scan, Sunspot. Simtar and Sidearm. So I'm thinking we'll just play Deadpool next round and start trying to beat down uh, Mr. Sinister. So we'll go to the villain phase. These are also readied. We'll add two threats here. Mr. Sinister towards for uh, plus one scheme, so three. So this advances. So we go to 3A, when revealed, deal one, each player one face down and come card. That is probably bad. Uh, forced interrupt, when Mr. Sinister attacks, he attacks Hope Summers instead. Other characters may defend, of course. And if this stage is completed, uh, it has seven uh, threat threshold, uh, we lose the game. So, we'll try to stop that from happening. Okay, and uh, we'll get an encounter card. So Ramrod comes into play, uh, yes, for Retaliate, and Teamwork Nasty Boy, and Ramrod's attack gains Piercing. We have Impervious, attacks the villain, reduce the amount of damage it uh, attacks the villain takes from each attack by one. Uh, hero action spent two physical resources, give the villain a top status card and discard this card. 
Well, that's bad. And high ground. When revealed, this card uh, needs tough status card from each friendly character of the player. As a group, take two indirect damage, four indirect damage instead if the villain has the brute trait. So, four indirect damage. Hmm. Well, I think uh, Cable takes three and we'll put one on here. And that is it, so that is that round. Uh, let's see if we can finish off the game during the next round. Okay, and uh, to finish off the game this round, we need to get rid of the impervious some way. So I actually will discard Deadpool and Sidearm and give the villain a tough status card. So we get rid of the impervious. Then I will go to hero mode and use the plasma rifle with the Grey Malkin. So we remove the tough. I'll hit for 3, hit for 4, hit for 9 and finish off with the EVA. So that is game. Uh, yeah, well, that went pretty well uh, in my test game. I didn't get this far. I just managed to advance Mr. Sinister to the second stage and then uh, an overkill or something killed me. So uh, I also didn't have the super strengths in play. I think that is the most, uh, the weakest of these three. The telepathy gives uh, Mr. Sinister uh, retaliate which is bad, and psionic trait, so, and uh, plus one to scheming, so the retaliate uh, early on is really nasty. But yeah, that was Mr. Sinister with Cable's Prevailed Leadership deck. Hope you guys liked this playthrough, thanks for watching, and until next time.